hello guys i am still updating you with the breaking trending news what is going on in nigeria wherever you are good morning good afternoon and good evening uh, depending on your location at this time of the day okay uh, let me use this opportunity and wish you guys a happy weekend it's a beautiful saturday afternoon uh the 11th day in the month of december 2021 so you can see on your screen i quickly want to uh, give you the information real quick ipob laments starvation torture of Namdekanu in DSS uh, detention and also asked the Nigerian government and its secret police to stop violating Namdekanu's right. Okay, guys, um, I will give you more details on this. Uh, just an appeal if you are here to subscribe. Basically, this is what we do here. We give you breaking trending news, what is going on in Nigeria. So subscribe. So you get updated whenever I have um, developing stories like this for you guys. So, the IPOB has called on the Nigerian government to transfer Mazin Namdekanu uh, to prison facility. Remember last week um, when Ifanye Jofo, IPOB counsel, and um, Namdekanu's brother raised this alarm that um, Mazin Namdekanu is being denied food in DSS detention and is also being tortured by the secret police. So, in reaction, IPOB in the statement, let me give you the statement in quote. IPOB said, we, the global movement and family of IPOB, under the command and leadership of our great leader, Mazinam Dikanu, we wish to place the world on notice over the continued maltreatment and humiliation of our leader, Mazinam Dikanu, in custody of DSS. The evil and compromised Nigeria DSS security agent has decided to use starvation and hunger strategy to eliminate our leader, Mazin Namdekanu, in custody. They have continued to confine him in a solitary cell under harsh conditions since his rendition to Nigeria in June. Solitary confinement is not correctional centers. They should send him to Kuje prison pending his court date. We are asking the Nigerian government and security agencies that is busy granting and releasing bandits and real terrorists every day to transfer our leader, Mazin Namdekanu, to the Nigerian prison where persons awaiting trial are kept. Nothing should happen to our leader, Mazin Namdekanu, in detention. Nigeria DSS has denied our leader food since three to four days now. The whole world should take note of these atrocities and torture being meted out against our leader. Amnesty International and other human rights groups should take note. Civilized countries should prevail on Nigeria, DSS, to stop starving and torturing our leader. And and torturing our leader. DSS should stop starving and torturing our leader. Mazin Namdekanu, his right should not be violated anymore. Nigeria should take our leader to prison custody and stop violating his right in DSS custody. All right, guys. Oh, so that is um the update, uh, the statement by IPOB um, under the leadership of Mazin Namdekanu, the continuous torture and uh, starvation in DSS facility. Okay, guys, um, just like I said, I quickly wanted to, you know, give you the information real quick. So if you have anything to contribute, I mean, I really don't know. This is one of the reasons. Like, seriously, this is one of the reasons why if anything happens to the Nigerian police, I'm talking about maybe bandit, unknown gunmen attacking them. Nigerians seems to be happy about it. Why? Because of this violation of human rights. They said police is your friend. Police is your friend. But in real life, they are your real enemy. People are supposed to be happy whenever they see the police. Not only criminal, even people that are not criminal. The very moment you see the police, your mind, you start shaking. That was one of the reasons why NSAS protests um, emanated last year. People are supposed to confide in the police. But the Nigerian police, time without numbers, 
make people to be afraid of them rather than people to be their friend, rather than the police being your friend. Why violating somebody's right in a, a democratically settings of government, violating somebody's right? Somebody that is not convicted, somebody that has not been found guilty. I mean, this is one of the reasons. Whenever something happens to the said police, people seem to be happy. How I wish the police would try, but I believe they are good ones. It's just the bad eggs. I believe they are good ones in police. But the bad eggs, the ones that are, that are notorious, will not allow Nigerians to enjoy the ones that are good in police, um, uh, uh, police force. Okay, guy, um, let me not use emotion and, um, you know, talk to you. I quickly wanted to update you on this. Uh, see you in another video.